Hi, I'm Caitlin Deaver, and I'm going to be reading a story today for this wonderful program called Stories from Tomorrow, and they are coming together to support and raise funds for Feeding America's Child Hunger Programs and also Room to Read's Literacy and Girls Education Programs, which is so incredible. Um, my dear friend Lucas Hedges asked me to read a story, so thank you, Lucas, for nominating me. Um, I'm going to read a story now, because who doesn't love reading? <laughs> this one is called Pandemic by Lucia, and she is in junior high. I'm not that scared of the pandemic like most people are. It seems like an excuse for people to be selfish or to panic. Some people like panic. For me, I just feel like I'm missing out. I know everyone is home and bored out of their wits, but I can't help but feel like everyone is having a better time than me. I miss my friends. I miss eating red vines until 4 a.m. and watching horror films and hanging out at the park in the dead of night. I miss going to the mall without any money and trying to summon spirits in my bedroom. I miss blasting music and eating cake in our underwear. I never realized how much hanging out with my friends meant to me. My mom wants me to write about this experience. She says I'll appreciate it when I'm older. But what if this is the end and there isn't any point in writing about this? And this experience doesn't feel that strange to me. I'm used to being with myself and my conscience and it feels like any other episode of my personal isolation. I don't get bored, that's the thing. Boredom is a mindset, not a reality. If I find myself lying in bed not doing anything, I'm not bored. I'm lost in thought. I've been thinking a lot recently. I've been thinking about the universe, the planet, and my world. I've been contemplating time and space and reevaluating relationships and friendships. I've been eating more, which isn't necessarily bad. I forgot how much I like to eat because sometimes I pretend that I'm very picky with food and that I don't like to eat. I'm not sure why. I've been taking a lot of baths and watching a lot of British TV, which I need subtitles for since I can't understand a thing they say. I'm not bored. I'm far from bored. I'm just having to relearn how to live with myself. Oh, that was such a beautiful story. I loved that. Oh, I miss my friends too. <laughs> um, well, speaking of friends, I would love to hear my friend Joey King read a story now. So if you would love to donate or if you can, please text tomorrow to 707070. Okay, bye.